Hi class, this week is about distance learning and distant course standards. This is a topic that uh, was especially hot about five years ago in terms of thinking about where distance courses are compared to in-person courses and the quality of those online courses. And there was this idea certainly 20 years ago and I think it's faded the last five years or so that online courses are not the same or even superior to face-to-face -face courses. I think as uh, our faculty become better at teaching the courses, as there's more evidence out there to say students that have got, taken these courses are successful in life and learn something, uh, this has become less of an issue. However, I still present this topic in the course uh, because I think it's important for us as we're developing design a course to think that there has been an effort to create sort of universal standards for evaluating the quality of a course. Now the number one of these and it's still out there is Quality Matters which is sort of a, a program where you can run your distance courses through this and look at the rubric and have actually someone that's trained to um, and several people trained to go through a course and evaluate it. Quality Matters really was hot in uh, probably from the mid 2000s uh, to uh, the, the teens of the 2000s and I still think it's somewhat popular in some places, uh, but that effort to sort of run a lot of courses through this has, I think, lost steam a little bit because there's so many uh, universities doing versions of courses now that are online or complete programs online. I think also what has pushed this uh, to where maybe this is less of an issue of thinking about the quality of these courses are the blended and flipped classrooms, which are implemented you know, fairly widely at a lot of institutions around the country. So uh, I still teach it because I think it's important for you to see what the standards might look like. And so I present the Quality Matters a rubric that I was a part of developing here at UNL as well. And then some other thoughts about preparing instructors and, uh, and what makes an instructor really, what competencies, what competencies do they need in order to make a quality course. So we're looking again from the instructor perspective, but looking out at how that impacts the course and how you might pick up on you know, the quality measures in a course. And also there's some other papers there looking at K-12 instruction as well. So then we have some uh, K-12 educators. I might as well uh, throw in a professional development quality uh, paper and looking at DE online, because I know we have some extension educators here as well. So I've got a paper I'm debating on whether to put that in there for to have you look at. I'm kind of reading it and figuring out whether it's quality enough to put it there. But you'll notice there's no lecture this week. And the reason is, uh, I think it's kind of boring to go through those standards. And we've talked about a lot of topics so far this semester that go into a quality course. The only thing we're missing that we haven't talked about so far at this point in the course is what might that measure looks like? And I think you can pretty much look at the rubric and see the kind of things that they're asking, which goes back to that question that we've addressed a few times in this course is what makes a good DE course. These uh, courses are essentially, these quality measurements are essentially looking for that in these courses. So I encourage you to read through the materials. Uh, we do talk to Aaron Bauer, who is uh, a lecturer here in the Department of Entomology, talks a little bit about uh, managing courses, sort of quality courses as well, and her perspective on teaching online, which she only teaches online. Uh, she teaches right now a large uh, lecture section of Entomology 115, which is an undergraduate course that for years traditionally was taught face to face. And every semester her enrollment there grows. Some of that is, you know, students are able to figure out that you can do the same course online. Some of that too is just, you know, the quality is comparable. And so um, we've got students that go, well, I don't have to come to East Campus to take this course. I can, uh, you know, you know, do it from home and, and get the same sort of content I would listening to a lecture, which totally makes sense, right? So again, that's our guest lecture. So we don't have a long, uh, you know, lecture like we do some weeks or other weeks. Uh, this is uh, materials for you to read and then the guest lecture with Aaron. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, um, you know, read the materials. I want you to be aware and know that this stuff is out there and uh, to be thinking a lot about uh, what a quality DE course likes and know there are measurements that do this. Again, thanks, and I hope you enjoy this week about standards and quality DE courses.